My name is Carlito Carvalhosa. This is the sum of days, a piece that is installed at the atrium at MoMA. It is a piece uh, designed upon a very simple form. And from these two spirals that stay on the top of the building, there is a very, very large curtain that hangs made up of a very light material. And in a way, the material is never stops. It's always moving and kind of revealing the air that we don't see. I also made um, a system of microphones and speakers that uh, record and play the sum of everything that happens in this space. So in time, we have a kind of construction of sound, a kind of sound sculpture. The idea of this piece is that you can really change a very, very big space using a small amount of material. So there's a big volume made out of, of a kind of skin that weighs almost nothing. Here, you have a kind of wandering um, attitude. You don't go inside or outside, you wander through. And then there's a moment you were inside the piece, but you have to get to this moment. It fills the whole space of the atrium, which is quite big, and it's seen from many different points. You can go to the bridges or the exhibition rooms. You can, there are windows where you can look into the space. In a way, you can't see it because you don't know the lines, you don't see the borders of the walls or the floor anymore. So what you see when you get into the museum is a kind of huge, it looks a little bit like a waterfall, it's something that's falling on you and that keeps moving all the time and never presents as one thing. It's not that the space is defining the sculpture, it's more or less that the, 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 the sculpture contains the space. And this is exactly the idea of the piece, that you, you know how it is, but then you don't see it anymore as a whole. What I've heard from people who have seen the piece is all kinds of different experiences in the same place, like under the sea or church or like memories from childhood or like a kind of cloud. The reason for that is that you are trying to grasp your experience, like to define what's happening to you. There is a performance aspect to this piece. My idea is not that the performance is designed for the piece or the piece is like a translation of the music. It's more that there is a confrontation between two things that have their own nature. It has this strange thing that music's coming from this kind of white thing that, that's difficult to define, but you don't see what's going on. So you have to look more carefully. You have to listen more carefully. There is a truth to the piece, which is its own. It's not something that I control. Some people ask me, how do I manage to control the movement of the fabric? And I think this is interesting because it is something that shows that we create content looking at something, even if there's nothing there. And this is the thing of the piece. You see things. It's possible to see things and to create content through experience.